Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at a budget mini PC. If you're looking for a super affordable mini PC, then the Raytan TR5 has you covered. This is everything you get inside the box. You do get a wall bracket. I forgot to put it on the table, but you've got a little tiny uh, brick here, which is for your power adapter, which has a barrel connector on here. This has a two pin prong connector because this is uh, geared for the American market. So it's not going to be in the UK, I'm afraid. We do have a little small HDMI cable and a larger HDMI cable here. We also have a user manual, which is uh, English language and uh, pictures. Very straightforward uh, setup here, but it just gives you all the specifications and what the actual buttons do on the unit itself. Then we have the mini PC. We'll take a closer look here. On the front, we've got two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports here and also one Type-C port on the front. Our audio input for our headphones and audio and we also have a power button here on this side we do have a micro sd card slot and also a kensington lock on the other side it's plain uh, on the back we have a one gigabit ethernet port two usb 2.0 ports we also have two hdmi ports on here and one power input port there for our power lead on the bottom we do have that exhaust to extract all the heat from the unit and on the base of the unit here, you can see those two brass areas here. These are for the actual mounting bracket, so you can mount this onto a monitor or a wall there. So there is the exhaust fan as well on the bottom. Looking at inside here, you can see this does have one stick of RAM. This is the 16 gigabyte of RAM version. So there is room for another stick inside here if you want to upgrade. But it is running on single channel with 16 gigs of RAM on here in one slot so it's give you another spare slot for another stick of ram if you want to i can see why they run this on single channel because it just gives you that slot free to just buy another stick of ram if you wanted to rather than buying two new sticks if you wanted to upgrade so kingston 16 gigs of ram on here which is pretty nice now the tr5 has the 5600u which is the fifth gen ryzen uh, processor on here it runs at 2.3 gigahertz and maxes out at 4.2 uh, gigahertz has six cores and 12 threads you can see there's a little sata cable there as well for a ssd that you can add into this device and we have an intel nvme drive on there as well this is the area where your ssd is going to sit right in here it will sit in this area here and you use the little cable to connect it all up and you'll be able to put extra storage in here let's run some geekbench uh, benchmarks on here just want to quickly show you the thermals now some mini pc devices get really hot when you start benchmarking them you can see this one runs pretty cool and it's pretty quiet as well under full load so we're running this benchmark here and we're in the sort of 60 degree celsius range uh, the single core is 1161 with the multi-core running at 3411 which is pretty impressive for this particular type of cpu on the GPU, we've got 7,461, which is going to be great for uh, retro games and things like that and other types of games. Now, 4K streaming is uh, pretty good as well. As you can see, I'm streaming this here. I'm just jumping the video here to see whether it catches up. You get a few drop frames at the very beginning of play, but once it stabilizes, uh, it's not too bad. You get some good quality playback from 4K. Next up, we're going to do some jellyfish samples here. These are the really uh, extreme files to run this is a 4k 120 mbps and also this is hevc and uh, 10 bit and you can see it's running this no problem at all and i'll skip this here and this gives you great playback so you can play all your 4k content on this if you want to run plex and stuff you could do on here and again i'll try the more extreme version here the 400 mbps which is struggling a little bit to play Retro games on here are no problem at all. You'll get max FPS on here. This is three times upscale, but no problem at all playing these. And you can play all your favorite games on here. You can play games from the Windows Store. Comes pre-installed with Windows 11, but you can install Windows 10 or Linux on this box as well. So if you're tight for space and uh, you want to use a mini PC like this, you can use it for general computer use. So you can surf the web, you watch YouTube, and you can stream movies on it. You can play some games on here and pretty much uh, do some editing on here. 1080p is probably going to be the maximum photo sort of editing and screen capture 
uh, you know, with Camtasia, that will be perfectly fine on here. It's got plenty of processing power here for that particular work. You can't do 4K video editing or photo editing on here. It's just not enough power. But generally, it's a pretty good all-round PC for people that are looking for a budget computer and want to try and save space but don't want to spend an absolute fortune because some of these mini PCs can be quite expensive. But this one here is pretty affordable. Now, they come in three flavors. Uh, again, you've got the 8 gig version, 16 gig version, and the 32 gig version. Also, with the storage, it'll be uh, 256, 512, and 1 terabyte. So, depending on what versions you go for. Uh, Cinebench score here, as you can see, is pretty reasonable. Uh, we've got a pretty good score. Thermals are pretty good on here. No thermal throttling on this device throughout my testing, which is also a good sign. It is pretty quiet to run, so it's not that noisy. Uh, but all in all, a pretty decent bit of kit. Now, you'll probably notice the Realtan uh, TR5 is using the AMD 5600U processor, which is an older style processor. Not that old, but it's the older generation. They have 7000 series ones out of these out right now. But they are bleeding edge and they're going to be pretty expensive. But the 8 gigabyte version of this with 256 gigabytes of RAM is 275. You may as well go for the 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 SSD because that gives you a, a very affordable price of $285, which is a pretty good deal. There's a bit of a leap on the 32 gigabyte and one terabyte version there. So the one we're using here is the 16 gigabytes with 512 uh, SSD. Uh, so pretty good price for that sort of uh, mini PC. And the 5600U is still more than capable of running modern day applications in 2023. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I will leave all the links in the video description if you're interested. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.